What if I told you that the world's biggest science machine is also the source of some of the scariest stories in modern history? Deep beneath the border of Switzerland and France, the CERN Large Hadron Collider is smashing particles together at near the speed of light. Most of the time, this means incredible discoveries, but other times it sparks rumors, fear, and even panic among the very physicists running the experiments. These are forbidden experiments at CERN that terrify even some scientists themselves. Imagine running an experiment that could, in theory, swallow the planet. That is exactly the fear that erupted when CERN scientists announced that the Large Hadron Collider might produce miniature black holes. The idea was not science fiction. Some theoretical models suggested that smashing protons together at high enough energy could create tiny black holes that immediately evaporate. Physicists reassured the public that these holes would vanish instantly, but what if just one did not? In 2008, lawsuits were actually filed in European courts to stop CERN from turning on the collider, arguing that the risk, no matter how small, was unacceptable. Although the courts dismissed the cases, the idea that Earth's most advanced lab could create black holes terrified the public and made even experts uneasy. One of the scariest theories connected to CERN involves strange matter, sometimes called strangelets. This is a hypothetical type of matter so stable that if it ever touched regular matter, it could convert everything around it into strange matter too. Think of it like a cosmic infection that could spread across the planet. In the 1990s, similar fears surrounded the relativistic Heavy Ion Collider in the US, but the Large Hadron Collider at CERN revived the debate. Some theorists warned that colliding heavy ions could create strangelets capable of devouring Earth from the inside out. While no strangelets have ever been found, the possibility still lingers in theoretical physics. Even if the chances are astronomically small, the concept of a runaway particle that eats the planet was enough to terrify both the public and some of the scientists involved. Few substances are scarier than antimatter. At CERN, researchers at the Antiproton Decelerator Facility have been producing and trapping atoms of antihydrogen, the antimatter version of regular hydrogen. Antimatter is fascinating, but it is also very volatile. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate in a burst of pure energy. Just one gram of antimatter could produce an explosion equivalent to a nuclear bomb. The amounts at CERN are microscopic, far too small to cause harm, but still the fact that scientists are deliberately making and storing one of the most dangerous substances in the universe raises some eyebrows. In 2020, in 2012, CERN trapped anti-hydrogen atoms for 1,000 seconds, a record at the time, pushing closer to being able to study it in detail. But even the tiniest containment failure could spell disaster. That reality makes antimatter one of the most forbidden feeling experiments happening at CERN. In 2011, CERN made an announcement that shook the entire world of physics. Neutrinos, ghostly particles that pass through matter almost undetected, appear to be traveling faster than light. If true, this would have broken Einstein's theory of relativity and forced a rewrite of modern physics. For months, scientists double-checked their data, terrified of what this meant. If particles could outrun light, causality itself, the principle that cause comes before effect, would break down. It would mean that time travel, paradoxes, and physics as we know it were all collapsing. Eventually, CERN discovered the anomaly was caused by a loose fiber optic cable, but for those few months, the world of science stared into the abyss of rewriting everything we thought we knew about reality, and even the physicists admitted that that was kinda terrifying. In 2016, a video surfaced online showing what looked like a mock human sacrifice in the courtyard of CERN, right in front of the statue of Shiva, the destroyer. A gift from India, symbolizing creation 
and destruction. The footage sparked immediate panic. People around the world believed CERN was not just doing science, but performing occult rituals tied to its experiments. CERN quickly responded, saying the video was a prank staged by individuals with unauthorized access. But still, the symbolism of a sacrifice in front of a statue of Shiva, combined with CERN's mission of smashing particles to recreate conditions from the Big Bang, sent conspiracy theories into overdrive. Even though CERN dismissed it, the association of occult practices with high-energy experiments left many people disturbed and made some physicists uncomfortable with the public's perception of their work. CERN is not only smashing particles to discover new ones, some experiments are actively searching for signs of extra dimensions beyond the ones we live in. One proposal suggested that collisions at the LHC could briefly open micro wormholes or gateways to higher dimensions. The idea terrified the public and fascinated scientists. If true, it could explain mysteries like dark matter, but critics worried about what could come through those openings or what might leak out. In 2008, CERN even published a safety report directly addressing public fears about extra dimensions, black holes, and vacuum decay. While the official word was that the LHC was safe, the very need for such a report shows how uneasy people, including some experts, felt about the implications of these experiments. Speaking of vacuum decay, perhaps the most terrifying possibility ever connected to CERN is that exact idea. In physics, our universe exists in what is called a false vacuum, a very delicate state that could, in theory, collapse to a more stable one. If that collapse started, it would spread at the speed of light, destroying everything in its path. Some theorists worried that high-energy collisions at CERN could trigger this process. Although later studies concluded it was nearly impossible, the fact remains that LHC reaches energy levels never before achieved by humans. When you are running experiments that could theoretically erase the universe, even the smallest chance is enough to terrify scientists. When CERN announced the hunt for the Higgs boson, nicknamed the God Particle, the media frenzy made it sound apocalyptic. Headlines claimed CERN might destroy the universe by creating something unnatural. Some even linked the Higgs boson to doomsday prophecies. In July 2012, CERN confirmed the discovery of the Higgs boson, and the world did not end. But behind the celebration was real unease. Peter Higgs himself had warned that high-energy physics could unleash unexpected consequences. The Higgs field gives mass to particles, so tampering with it sounds like tampering with the very foundation of existence. Even though the discovery was safe, the panic it triggered shows how quickly CERN's experiments can cross from groundbreaking to absolutely terrifying. CERN is not just dangerous because of what it discovers, but also because of the scale of its operation. The Large Hadron Collider consumes around 1.3 terawatt hours of electricity per year, about the same as a small city. In 2015, CERN had to shut down experiments because Switzerland simply did not have enough power during the winter. The sheer energy being fed into the collider raised fears of unintended side effects. Could the massive electromagnetic fields generated by the collider interact with Earth's natural system? systems. Some conspiracy theorists even claimed that strange weather and earthquakes were linked to CERN powering up. While scientists dismissed these claims, the fact that one machine can drink as much electricity as a city makes it feel like an experiment far too powerful for humans to control. One of the strangest incidents linked to CERN happened in 2009 when the collider suddenly failed. Engineers discovered the cause a piece of bread had fallen into outdoor machinery, possibly dropped by a bird. The malfunction was serious enough to shut down operations temporarily, but what made the story eerie was the timing. Some theorists speculated that it was not just an accident, but a kind of sabotage from the future. They argued that nature, or even time itself, was trying to prevent CERN from making dangerous discoveries like the Higgs boson. While most physicists laughed it off, others admitted the coincidence was kind of unsettling. The idea 
idea that the universe might be actively fighting against CERN's experiments sounds absurd, but it is exactly the kind of story that keeps the public and even some experts uneasy about what goes on underground. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.